Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Word in Review, which is a brief summary of the message preached at Faith Dimensions Ministries in Milton Keynes, uh, England, on the 15th of January, that's this past Sunday. The message was titled, Our Weapons of Choice, by Bishop Glenn, Glenn Ferguson, the presiding bishop of FDM. It was such a powerful day in general, I mean, one of my best days in church in, in, in the sense that it was just a total package, not just the message, the worship, the choir, the decorum in church, attendance, it, just the atmosphere was, was really fantastic. And to get to the message, our weapons of choice, Bishop began by talking about the fact that there's a general lack of awareness of the supernatural. So many people don't and no, don't understand the supernatural. They are not aware of it. They, they, it's all around them, but they don't. They don't really comprehend and un, understand it. Um, the, the the world of dark powers, of demons, of evil. This is strange to many people, even though they are, the effect is it's is 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 so obvious. Um, and then Bishop began to talk about the need for us not to be fighting in the flesh. Uh, the Bible says in that passage in Second Corinthians chapter 10 that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down our strongholds and casting our imaginations and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. The mind is the enemy's choice of attack. The, and if we see all around us, um, we, we know this to be true. A lot of mental health issues, a lot of challenges we will face. Um, because of the attack of, of the kingdom of darkness. And then Bishop zeroed in on the fact that our weapon of choice as Christians is prayer. And prayer is such a powerful thing that we need to begin to pray a lot more and we need to, we need to ask God to give unto us the spirit of prayer. There's something called the spirit of prayer. There's a capacity to pray that is not natural. There's the ability to pray that is not that, that can only be, be, be given to us by God himself. And then he mentioned, you know, finally that we should, you know, we be renewed in our mind. We should have a mind that is renewed to, to be able to think like God. Because the Bible actually does say that we have the mind of Christ. And we spend a good um, in a good part of the of the service in prayer. And it was really, really nice and powerful. This is one message I would encourage you to go and and watch. In fact, even if we're in church, you need to watch this message again and again and um, draw strength and draw inspiration. God bless you as you do so.